Mayor Lightfoot, you're patting yourself on the back today for rushing through a casino that 80% of the people in the new 42nd Ward say they just don't want. Um, we have, uh, you're saying that this is going to, if it's ever built, that is, result in tourism, result in um, conventions. But the real reason why we don't have the tourism or the conventions is because of violent crime. You issued a violent tweet, call to arms, and since then we've had multiple instances of mob violence in downtown Chicago. We've had shootings, murders, mass shootings. You talk about Texas. Mass shooting here in the Sir, city is of Chicago. A question? There is indeed. What is it? There is Let's indeed. get to it. Let's get Absolutely. to it. Absolutely. A speech is not what you're supposed to do. In fact, you went to, to Texas. Let's get to you it. You went to Texas. Please, please get to your question. Well, if I may I ask my question. You went to please Texas ask for your a question. gay and lesbian fundraiser, okay? I've talked to the, ta to the taxpayers, the voters, the, the citizens of Chicago, mostly uh, black and brown. They say that they resent that. Will you recall, rescind your violent tweet to uh, call to arms? No, let, yes let, him, no. let, him, let him talk. The more will he talks, you, the more stupid he sounds. Please continue. Will you rescind your call to arms tweet in the light of the mass shooting in downtown Chicago? So, as stupid as you think that may be. So let me just deconstruct, you, let me just deconstruct the series of lies that you just spewed, as you do every time you come to one of my press conferences. Number one, our tourism numbers are off the charts. McCormick Place um, is about 90% of capacity from what it used to be uh, pre-pandemic. So that's lie number one. Lie number two is that um, somehow the, the call to arms, the call to action that I issued in the context of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade and basically turn back the clock 50 years time where women are not going to be able to be in control of their other bodies? No, sir. I will not. I will not stand down. I will not retreat because women in this country are not going to stand for some unelected body to tell us that we don't have the right to control the circumstances and the way and where in which we uh, produce our children. So you, 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 you you're going to let me speak, sir. You're not going to talk over me. That's not the rules here in this press conference. And if you don't want to abide by those rules, you can take your nonsense someplace else. Because I am about full up with you. Craig Wall, ABC. I'm not finished. Let me just finish. And the, and the nonsense that you're spewing, that tourists aren't coming to our city, all you have to do is walk up and down Michigan. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You will stop speaking. You will stop speaking. You're, you're, you're full of crap. And that's the nicest thing that I can say. I will not let you spoil this moment. And I will not let you. If you do not, if you do not stop. She's asking your question. Keep it down. Harold. Respect her the way she respects you. Harold, if you do not stop, you will. Be, I will ask you to leave, and I will make sure that the police take you out of here. You will not act like this, sir. You can talk and say whatever you want on the street, but in here, in my press conference, you will not act like that, sir. And let me be clear with you. I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm not doing a victory lap. What I'm saying is that after 30 years of futility, the men and women of this city will have good paying jobs that they can build a future on. What I'm also saying is that the taxpayers of this city will not have to be called upon again to shore up our police and fire pensions. Now, you don't want to hear the facts because you can't handle the truth, sir. But that is the truth. Next report. 